I am an artist, sculptor, sketcher, finger painter. My medium is the mirror. My body is my clay. When I was in the third grade, I was the best drawer in my class because I went to the Renaissance Art School, where we learned to perfect the art of copying. Starting small, a cartoon in charcoal, earning real pictures in watercolor, and eventually in my teenage years, graduating to models in the magazine, two fingers down my throat, I copy art. The art that defines beauty. 115 pound nudes plastered to the canvases that line the highways, the mess of the 21st century. With my scalpel, I carve at my ceramic excess till all that's left on my palette is red and a brush dipped in tears. They say the pen is mightier than the sword. But an empty stomach is louder than a pen. With brush strokes, back strokes, bow flexes, and treadmills, I sculpt my masterpiece. But the talent is obviously lacking, since the picture never comes out as what I pictured in the pictures I take to my pantry. I copy art, I shade my plate, I blend my needles. Like a Picasso, I warp my face in the mirror. My emotions explode on the canvas like a Jackson Pollock, and I am a Monet. Mm. Only beautiful from afar. Mm. I cover my face with oil paint to hide all my pencil marks. I am Michelangelo, standing in a studio wondering how to create beauty out of marble, smooth. Like the lines I give my mother while I'm explaining why I didn't pack a lunch cold. Like the sting that shoots through my empty body every time I step on that scale solid. How I feel when I lock my knees in place to keep from passing out. And the world spins around me, I live my life on the pottery wheel. A part of me can see beyond the paint. Wants to take my palette and I scrape the surface and reveal the smudges that lay beneath that no one wants to see but we know are there. So obsessed with the final picture that I haven't taken any time to step back and notice the canvas itself is ripped and broken. Yeah.